Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO of DVS, and before we start, a massive thank you for, for Toshiba for sponsoring this channel. If you haven't used their hard drive technology, now's the time. Get in contact with your DVS sales rep and we can give you some more information. So, what are we going to look at today? Ah, and another thing to do is, before you go any further, make sure you download the DVS app on your phone. It's an absolutely fantastic app, always been added to, and I think it will really help you moving forward. If you're a DVS customer, you can't live without it. And if you're not a DVS customer, there's still some helpful tools on there that you can use. You don't have to be a customer to use this app. So that's the second point I want to make. Third point is, thank you to everybody who helped us reach that milestone of 20,000 subscribers last week. I know it doesn't sound a lot, but in this industry, it's a lot. So thank you. We're Wherever you are, thank you. Okay, so what are we gonna look at today? So I've got a 2346 G2 camera. So you can see there, there you go. The reason I've got this camera is this is not um, uh, a new technology. It's a G2 uh, AccuSense camera, turret camera, four megapixel. What is interesting about this is I have firmware that enables RTMP protocol. Now, for those of you that want to know what RTMP, RTMP protocol is, if you're into YouTube uh, broadcasting, then this is the camera that will enable that interface. So we're gonna update it with a specialized firmware that allows the RTMP protocol to be enabled, and therefore we can hopefully direct stream to YouTube to show you what that is. Now, given the environment we're in, this has been a massive thing lately, and I think moving forward it'll definitely be something of interest to a lot of you and the wider audience um, whether it's for you know remote learning distance learning whether it's for churches whether it's for animal viewing um, or whatever that is an MOT center an event whatever that is you can use these cameras and we do it in 8 megapixel as well so you're not just limited to 4 megapixel you can increase the resolution to 8 megapixel this firmware should allow that RTMP protocol and one of your favorite uh, applications to be used. We'll try and use YouTube um, as the uh, main one to focus on today. So I'm gonna plug this into the network, transfer you to the PC, we're gonna upgrade the firmware and we're gonna see what we can do with this camera. So stay tuned while I do that, thank you. Okay, so we have the camera set up here. So if I log into it quickly, You can see this camera is currently on the baseline firmware, so standard baseline firmware. If I go to the live view, you can see it's the one I just showed you that I've put into the demo room. So yeah, just live streaming from the demo room there. Let's do that. Now we need to update it with the specialized RTMP enabled firmware. So if we go to maintenance, browse, and I've got it saved on my um, desktop ready. It's this firmware here. So it's this G3 um, enabled firmware here. So I'm just going to extract that here just to make sure it's the right one. Double click that one, enabled. And now we're gonna upgrade it. So once I upgrade it, um, it'll take uh, three to four minutes to upgrade and then join us back when it's upgraded. Okay, so we have updated the camera now. So if I go to configuration, you can see that is the customized firmware that includes the RTMP. So all of the other camera functionality exists. One thing we need to do is go to video and audio. Enable video and audio as the stream because obviously with YouTube mostly you need the audio function. So we're going to click save on that. And we'll also do the substream video and audio save. Now under audio, you can see the audio encoding format here. I have actually got a full YouTube guide. So again, this is how you set the camera up, how you log in and actually create the YouTube stream. So you can come all the way through and I can send this should you need, or you can just screenshot it and take it. So we'll come to here. You can see there, this is what the audio parameter should be. So ACC, 441 kilohertz, 32 kilobytes, microphone in, because um, this camera's got a built-in mic, but if it was one with a line in, you can use an external microphone. Input volume, let's say 100, and environment noise filter is off. Now click save. 
Okay, so we're now set up for video and audio um, for the broadcast. Now, under network, you'll see there is a new functionality. So make sure you set your default gateway and your DNS. That's really important. Without that functionality enabled, especially the default gateway, you're not going to root out for your network. And therefore, this will be extremely difficult and not work. Now, under advanced settings, you can see the RTMP. Um, I've enabled it. And that's where I need to put the... Um, server address from YouTube so we can delete that for now and click save we we'll actually need to put something in there to click save um, one thing I did note is um, I've actually turned Hike Connect off but under system and security if you get an issue change these to digest basic on web and RTSP um, to, if you don't get it working on the default of digest click save now we need to log into the actual Hike Oh, sorry, the YouTube version itself. So I'm just going to open that up a second. Okay, so we're going to log into YouTube quickly. I'm going to use my account, not the DVS account, but just to show you the process of how this works. So I'm going to go create, go live. We're going to do it right now, or you can schedule it. So we'll go right now, and we'll go our streaming software. So what we have to do is copy this here, this URL first. So we're going to copy all of that. We're going to open up our camera, and under the RTMP, under network, RTMP there, delete, paste that in, forward slash, and then we're going to copy this key. So we'll copy this streaming key as well. Now click save. So that should now start the stream. We'll just wait for that to come through. So excellent condition. That's now live. There you go. So that's actually now live. So I can turn the audio on. I can make it go full screen. And we'll turn the audio on. Hello? So that should now start the stream. We'll just wait for that to come through. So excellent condition. That's now live. There you go. So that's actually now live. So I can turn the audio on. I can make it go full screen. And we'll turn the audio on. Hello? Hello, testing. Turn the audio off. What you can see is I've actually done that as a 1080p stream. So if your network struggles um, with a higher resolution, then obviously make sure you downgrade the resolution to 1080p. So in the camera and the video and audio and the video, you can make that 1080p. I could try to put it up, but the camera may really struggle. Let's just try. After a while, that will increase in quality. There's a little bit of a delay on there. Between the device, the network, and YouTube Live, there is a bit of a delay. There you go. So that's now a 4 megapixel uh, stream from the camera. So you can see it does make a massive improvement. But as long as your network can support that, then that's absolutely fine. So technically, we're now live on YouTube. Um, and you can actually have one viewer, and it'll tell you you know, all the details, live chat, etc. YouTube is a separate thing, not really for me to go through um, specifically, but that's how you stream the Hike Vision camera directly to YouTube. Resolution is really important, so start off at 1080p, make sure the stream comes through to YouTube Live, and then you can increase it accordingly to make sure your network um, will support that. It's also really important that once you've upgraded to this firmware um, for the... Uh, RTMP function, you must default the camera back to factory D settings, restore it all, set the camera up, 
and then publish it to YouTube in the manner that I've just shown you, and then you will find that it does work. Should you default the camera, do this method and it doesn't work, simply just log into the camera, click reboot, and then that should then start to stream to YouTube directly. I hope, I hope and hope you found this video very, very um, beneficial. If you need any further details, so video and audio is supported um, on this product, no PTZ control, um, but again, you can use a web browser, set up a PTZ if that's what you're using, and we have firmware um, for that, and uh, let us know. But yeah, this is specifically aimed at the G2 range of cameras, so the G2 Color Sense and AccuView. Um, you can actually, I can make that higher. So the stream is giving me a warning that the stream rate is lower, um, but our internet here is not the best in the demo room, and then I can obviously raise it accordingly. But what we can actually do is send firmware. So for the G2 gen second generation color view and AccuSense, we do our firmware for that. Speak to Hype Vision, they'll happily send it as well. And I think this will become used more and more. Now it's out there. I do think this will become a wider application. So we hope you enjoy it. Uh, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Any questions, ask dvs at dvs.co.uk. See you next week for another how-to video. Thank you to YouTube and thank you to Hype Vision for making this to allow us to go on to YouTube. We really, really appreciate it. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.